To an entire generation, Jeffrey will best be known as Barbosa from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. To others, he's one of Australia's greatest living theatrical actors. His ability to create and then inhabit a character is second to none, allowing audiences to completely lose themselves in his performance. Jeffrey grew up in Brisbane and took quite an unusual approach to learning his craft, spending two years studying mime and movement in Paris. He then returned to Brisbane where he began his career treading the boards with the Queensland Theatre Company. Rush showed his impressive ability on the stage, easily jumping from the likes of Shakespeare to playing Snoopy in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. He popped up in the occasional Aussie film, but it was his mesmerising portrayal of David Helfgott in Shine that really got him noticed and put him on Hollywood's A-list. And one of the keys to his outstanding performance was the level of preparation he put in. I was very fortunate because I actually got to meet David quite early on in the process. Um, and because Scott Hicks, maybe because he's from a documentary background, he had very extensive audio tapes and videotapes of David, which were a great resource for me. Um, because David wasn't the sort of person I particularly wanted to sit down and have a clinical interview with. So I found it kind of good to be able to hang out with him socially and then have all this reference material that I could sift through and start to appropriate into my own behaviour. I really approached the filming like I was in a play. I said to Scott, the director, I, I want to, on the days we film these big raves, feel like I'm in the theatre and we're in the third week of the run. There was a sense of improv, I suppose, before the final shooting script, but pretty much from the final draft into the shooting script, I then had some input um, because I'd listened to all of these audio tapes of interviews with David. And, and, had typed out, like I put in a little earpiece and typed out every repetition, every overlap, every kind of broken thought, just to see what it looked like as text. And I said to the writer, can we look at the script and let me free it up so I can just maybe put a few, I won't add any more time to your film, but mm -hmm. I want to get these repetitions just, just as a process for me to sort of get the feel of what I'm hearing the real David say. And he said, oh, absolutely, I'd love you to do that. To further add to the authenticity of his performance, Rush actually played the piano in the film. He learned as a child and took lessons to brush up on his skills for the film. And all that hard work definitely paid off. Not only was Rush suddenly a household name, he also won an Academy Award. As you'd expect, the Oscar brought in a flood of offers. Next, Jeffrey starred in Les Miserables, then in Elizabeth, opposite fellow Aussie Kate Blanchett, then Shakespeare in Love, which gave Jeffrey the chance to play a more comedic role for a change. I suppose in, in the wake of Shine, the, the roles that uh, I'd taken on were all sort of dark, brooding, villainous, philosophical sort of characters when Toby Belch and Andrew Agichik get drunk together. It's, um, it's fantastic stuff to play and an audience really comes in on it. Continuing to take a lighter approach to roles, Jeffrey knew he could be a real pelican. Well, an animated pelican anyway. Jeffrey voiced Nigel the Pelican in Finding Nemo and he loved the freedom of doing an animation. As an actor, there are certain physical limitations to what you can actually do because you're trapped inside a human body. But when you know you're going to be animated, your mouth can move in extraordinary ways. And they've even managed to make my wings look a bit like the way I talk. You know, all the feathers do this all the time. Uh, so they can muck around with that, you know. But finding his pelican voice proved to be harder than he expected. The hard thing was, I think the key for it was, I have a bit of a dialogue in the film where I have to speak with a mouth full of fish. Once I got that right, I sort of had the character. Rush is not your typical Hollywood star. Rather than choosing roles for their box office appeal, he's gone for parts that appeal to him personally. In fact, he's even been known to turn down film work in America in favour of work back here in Australia. I mean, I've just managed to have been very lucky that I've been able to find, for me, uh, roles that have really excited me, that tell stories in a, in a kind of... Um, cultural idiom or language or in some cases direct experience that uh, uh, distinctly from uh, 
a, a country that I have grown up in. Throughout his career, Rush has played a wide variety of characters, but in Pirates of the Caribbean, the curse of the Black Pearl, he got to play a pirate. He clearly had a lot of fun playing the dastardly Captain Barbosa, but when he was first offered the role, what did he think about the fact that it was based on a ride at Disneyland? It never worried me that, 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 that the first project was presumably based on a theme park ride, because I knew that they were looking at the period of history that the theme park ride was based on, and I thought this is a really good uh, genre, you know, to, to work from. But I did have a, 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 a very rare experience of having a director write me a really generous, beautiful letter saying, Dear Jeffrey, I've admired your work in such and such and such and such, and I'm very interested in having a, 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 an actor of your, you know, capabilities playing the villain in this pirate film, because I think you'll approach it with not, not dismissing it as a sort of fill-in summer popcorn doddle. And he said, I like it when a character can have this sort of duplicity where you think you're watching one thing but something else is going on underneath. And he said, I think it's possible to do that with Barbosa. So I thought, wow, I'm dealing with somebody who's sort of film literate and kind of, you know, interested in performance and stuff. So um, I leapt at it because uh, I thought this is... Uh, um, and at that stage, the, 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 the mad combination of... Johnny Depp in a Jerry Bruckheimer produced film with this screenplay and this really smart director, I thought this is going to be good. Certainly good to make. What happens then, you never know, you know. So the stage was set. A strong script, a crack creative team and a star-studded cast. But even so, boys will be boys. There was something exciting about smashing at each other with very, very sharp blades in a very skilled and dangerous way. And the good news for you Pirates fans is that Rush is returning as Captain Barbosa in the next instalment, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Arr! Okay, so obviously the R is not in the title. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.